what is up what's going on guys excited to be here today and i am actually what am i talking about i'm like over the moon excited today because we are going to be talking today with miss kate pinter and kate um i can't quite figure out exactly the right setup for this of where this needs to go but anyways i'm gonna be talking today with kate and we're gonna be talking about strengths and you and really truly finding your strengths oh, what's up audrey kent Audrey Kent, Andrew Sawyer, there's so many good people on today, this is so freaking exciting. We're going to be talking today about strengths, and about Strengths Finder, and about the work that Kate individually does. Kate um, has recently become a really dear friend, and so I'm really, really excited for her to be on today. Um, and again, we're going to be chatting about leveraging your strengths for your highest productivity. Um, you know how we do here at Supreme Performance TV, um, just talking about truly what it's going to be leveraging um, what you can leverage to be at your greatest levels of happiness, success, fulfillment, all the things. And so, um, yeah, Kate has become a good friend over the last couple months. And so I'm really excited to, to bring her on today. So I'm going to go ahead and add her and we will get started. I want to know um, in the comments below, let me know if you can actually hear me. So go ahead and just say like here, um, if you can hear me, and we'll get rocking and rolling. And even, actually, I even want to know where you're calling in from. So, um, Andrew, I'm going to guess you're in, uh, thanks, Andrew. Wow, Andrew, I feel so personally affirmed from, from farthest away. Yeah, I got some new shades, some new, some new goggles. Some new guy, uh, eye goggles. So, um, yeah, guys, super excited. We're going to have Kate on today. And um, Kate's been running her business for quite some time and has been using and leveraging, ironically enough, leveraging the Strengths Finder um, testing to get people uh, individually working at their highest. And so, um, let's see, Andrew, I love it. On the island, but still like tuning in. That's so awesome, Andrew. It's so good seeing you, brother. It like truly warms my heart. So, um, Kate, I'm seeing some love. So if you can come on in, Kate. Um, now, the one thing, Kate, is you got to make sure you are on your telephono. So let's just make sure you're on your telephone, and then we'll get you we'll get you added in here. We'll get rocking and rolling. I'm stinking. I'm so stinking excited for this. Kate is a magician at what she does. In fact, all of her business is, or I should say a great number of her, but there she is. I love hey. it. Hey, hey, Kate. Good to see you, girl. This is super I'm exciting. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I was actually just going to tell them so much of, uh, of your business I know is based purely on referrals because you do such darn good work with your clients and everyone's so excited to be working with you that you're just getting referred all over the place. So, uh, I just love it. It's such an exciting, uh, exciting thing. So, and I was just telling him before you jumped on Kate that, um, just of our personal connection of that, you know, we've known each other for about probably about a month, maybe two months now. Actually, no, it's been more than that. It's been two or three months. Anyways. So, um, I've been watching what Kate's been up to. She's been watching what I've been up to. And so we're super excited to, to make this happen today. And, uh, yeah, super excited to have you. Thanks so much for coming on Kate. Thanks for having me on and, and shout out to Jay Rook for introducing us a few months ago. Jay Rook. Oh my gosh. I hope Amazing he tunes in. in Sonoma. Yeah. Yes. I love that guy. What's up, Trish? What's up, Susan? So awesome guys. All right. As we're, hey, as we're continuing to build. So guys go ahead. And if, if you're excited about Kate, if you're excited about what I'm doing, go ahead, share this, um, blast it out to all your friends, hit the love button, hit the like button. So we know that you can actually hear us. And you know, we know you can hear Kate and, uh, we'll get rocking and rolling here. So, um, awesome. Where I would love to start, Kate, and where I love to start all these is is just getting to know you, like getting to know more about you and probably even learn something that I may not even know favorite. yet. Okay. Yeah. So um, so obviously I know Strengths Finder is a huge piece of your work, but I know you also um, do that work um, sort of as, a, as, a, as an add-on to the work that you're doing privately with sure. clients as well. So I would love to kind of hear with that being kind of what you're excited about right now. Um, what kind of brought you to this point? Because obviously that is not like the, the uh, like typical avenue that everyone takes in their career. So I would love to hear why Strengths Finder, why the work that you're doing in productivity. And uh, yeah, tell us a little bit more about that. Awesome. Uh, so 
Strengths Finder came into my path um, when my, I was actually, this is probably like, gosh, it's been maybe nine years ago, maybe 10 or 11 wow. years ago, if I can. So it's been there for a really long time, but um, I went to a training um, that through Gap Community, which is a great organization, and um, they had us take the strengths test. And when I got my results, I realized that I'm, I'm like, oh my gosh, like you're calling these strengths, but this, these are the five ways that I beat myself up. Like this is, oh, so it was this like revelation of, of like, oh, oh, that's what's going on. This is what, hey, Mindy, I'm so glad you're here. I love it. Um, it was this, a real aha for me of like, not only did I, and I was feeling, I was down in my life because I had, I was battling a really severe nerve disease. Um, it's like off the charts, more painful than childbirth, documented that. And I had a baby after, so I can promise you that's true. <laughs> and uh, it's like, oh my gosh, this is okay. This isn't, you know, this isn't this other illness. So um, I realized in that space that I couldn't achieve as much as I wanted. And achiever was number four for me. And this was like a big aha for me, like on all levels of like, I don't know what to do if I can't perform. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know who I am if I don't use these. So I had to, I just had this revelation of like really aiming them and stepping into a new possibility for my life. And I, I had great support and coaches that really helped me to see what I couldn't see. Yeah. And I went, I feel like I went through the looking glass with that revelation light. Like I'm going to create an entirely different reality. I'm, I'm actually not going to spend my life in and out of a wheelchair, in and out of the hospital. Yeah. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to, hope that there's some other possibility available and that led me into transformational coaching and then i decided to bring strengths back in because it's so tied to my story so uh four years ago i did 27 infusions um in the sacramento area and i got out of that wheelchair so i know that this works this is yeah. like really investing in and in understanding what i personally need because i'm not like you you know it's like mm -hmm. we're all so different and there's like this every I feel like there's a code inside each of us of exactly what we need to perform well mm. but there's a lot of wake up that has to happen along that way and there's a new mindset that needs to happen the first thing you need is obviously a big dream you know you have to believe that there's some other possibility um and I had people that really helped me with that but that's why I incorporated it and brought it back in so good I love that and I, I think that that's one of the things uh and I think you know, you, you've seen my strengths too Kate I think what's so cool about the work that both you and I do is that it is so relationship based. And I think that um, it's fascinating to see even where the coaching and personal development industry is trending mm -hmm. towards, which is towards relationship and towards actually individualization of, of uh, for each person, because we are so, yeah. so varied. And so um, I'm trying to figure out exactly what my question is, if there is one, but just more, maybe even just commentary of like, I think that that's such a, it's such cool work that you're doing. Um, and I'm curious for you, why is that, um, yeah, why is it that, that that's most important to you over just like, here's my proven system and like, take it and sure. run with it kind of thing? Well, you know, there's, the internet is saturated with systems and solutions. Yeah. It's saturated. Um, my very first mentor in my early 20s was at a, a high level of marketing company for the tech industry. Mm. And I learned what systems are because he was mentored by Ray Kroc. So it's like, um, so there's like, like, so Ray Kroc is my business grandfather. Like if I could stretch and exaggerate that as far as possible. <laughs> my business Kroc. grandfather. <laughs> like, but yeah, but um, yeah, yeah. Right. So there's, I know systems work and all of that's true, but, but each of us are empowered differently. And each of us have like a whole board of directors in our head. And we've got to identify what those voices are and the strengths, which is so phenomenal. It took them like, it's like 40 years of research search put into this algorithm so there's it's it's complex it's but it's accessible anyone could go and grab it a lot mm. of people have already taken it. hey if you have taken it write your top five in the comments yeah. and i will read your poem well, yes um, please do that so everybody crazy. guys kate wait i just want to stop for a moment guys kate is offering like literal free coaching here so for the eight of you on here and, and whoever's going to show up after this like go ahead and please write those in there because Kate's time is incredibly valuable. And so for her to be offering this is such a cool gift. So thank you for, for offering that, Kate. That's so cool. So anybody who wants to who wants to get their palm read, I love that, as Kate calls it, um, please go ahead and 
comment below with your top five strengths if you know them from from Gallup Strength Finder. Okay, so go ahead. What were you? Go ahead, Kate. What you were saying? So just if um, I can't even remember because I'm just so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Look here they come. Mindy just gave it to you. Bam. Yeah. So so cool. So every strength has a need. Mm. So is like you are the vehicle what are you fueling your vehicle with what kind of journey you're going to go on um who's going to sit in the front seat and drive who don't who's been driving in the front seat like which of these strengths and it hasn't worked so well up until now <laughs> and maybe you need to pull in maybe you need to pull from your six through ten even in there because actually you have access to your full 15 it's just your top five i, I look at that as an autopilot Mm. Um, so when I see Mindy, I'm, I'm going to see Mindy's here. So learner, learner needs freedom to fail. And if you have a hard time when you're, when you do feel like you're failing or you are afraid of failure, there's something you have to kind of make amends with within your spirit mm -hmm. because learner needs freedom to fail in order to be free. So, it, so just that one component with that one theme and understanding what it needs to thrive. It's so liberating. Mm. Um, I'm just, there's a few in here. Let's see, Monique, connectedness number one. I love you, Monique, because my connectedness is number one, but I just love you anyway, and you know that. Um, <laughs> so there's, connectedness sees um, the big picture and the little detail at the same time, mm -hmm. and they walk around with a sense of belonging. They get triggered when people disappear or disconnect or don't reciprocate. So it's just something to be aware of if you're building a business and you notice there's certain things that just turn your crazies on. Mm. All of us have them. You can trace those triggers back to your strengths. So it's like, hey, I sent that email and they disappeared. How do I nurture that relationship back? Because I'm actually off my game right now because that happened. That's a trigger. Wow. So it's just, okay. you know, another way to look at that. Um, so those are a couple. That's so fun. I love that. I love that you have, yeah, to be able to have a system with which you can then individualize uh, people in from there. So I would love to hear, Kate, what sort of makes, because I know obviously there are a number of strengths finders coaches out there, but I'd love to kind of hear like, what is it specifically? I know you have some cool things in the works that you're creating at the moment and, and have been working on. So I'd love to hear about kind of what makes your process specific and, and, and sure. I guess not different, but yeah, unique in a way that, um, that makes like going to you super, super exciting for people. Sure. sure. So um, I'm strength strategy trained. And so strength strategy is sure. um, a longer term program. Mm. So I started going through um, some initial Gallup stuff and then I moved into that because that training was the most comprehensive. And so in that, I've been living, breathing, and nerding out on this language. And hey, if the language is a barrier for you, don't freak out because it's just a gateway. This is just something that we, we resort to when we're trying to figure out how to move stuff. This isn't like we're not just strengths talking the entire time. <laughs> Although it's fun. It would be fun, but we, we actually do. It's just, it's just a gateway to kind of understand what's right. happening. So we have a mutual language. Um, and I, I think the difference also in the type of coaching that I do, I, I do coach leaders, entrepreneurial leaders. So these are people who are, who need to work with people. Mm. They're either going to give their gift, but there's some other dimension there. So it, it kind of allows you to open up a curiosity about other people and prep, prep yourself. Mm. Like what does, what did those strengths say that that person needs from me in relationship? Like what do my clients need? Um, you know, from me? What do they need not just to feel safe, but to perform or just in engagement? How do they need to be encouraged? How do they need to be activated? Mm. And when you have this, this test and you have those results, you get closer to that. You still have to talk to them because otherwise you're just making assessments. This isn't like a box to put anyone in. It's just a, it's a conversation starter. That's it. Oh, I love that. I love that. That's so fantastic. And I think that that's, <clears throat> I think that's ultimately what all of this work needs to come down to. And, and I love that, that you have that philosophy on it too, is that ultimately, you know, we can have some like little bookmarks and ways of kind of getting conversations started, but then being able to access the whole human <laughs> and the whole capacity yeah. of like what it. Yeah, that would be means. really limiting to have that. Yeah. Know, this, is, this, is, this is one of the tools in my bag. I have other tools, but this one is what we start with so that we, we can learn the same language. I love it. I love it. Well, well, tell us about some more tools. I love tools. Tools are a fun thing. <laughs> tools are so fun. Um, I love time management. Mm. 
I love it. Tell me. And I use the string with that. Um, I have an exercise called the time machine. And really looking at, like, if I gave you a million dollars and you wrote down all the roles that you play in your business, I want you to tell me where you would be investing that money on those roles. And then we're going to take a look and see, like, ideally what you think you should be spending on those roles and also, like, like the reality of what's really happening right now. Yeah. Sometimes when people are frustrated or out of alignment, this is a really great entry into um, – Am I spending my time, am I in alignment with myself and what I say that I'm up to and how am I actually performing? Um, what do you use for measuring that? I'm curious for you too. Like what do you use when you, for, when you think about that? In terms for of time measuring management? time management? Yeah, or energy or commitment even. That's such a great together. question, yeah. Um, well, a lot of it is actually, I start with agreements. I start first with like, what are the agreements that I like just starting from like the ground floor of like, what are the, and maybe you do that as well. Um, so that might not be fair to, but, but yeah, like I start with like, what are the agreements that I currently have in place in my life? And, and, and specifically I, I use the word agreements because um, everything is negotiable and that's not to like niggle your way out of things, but like, you know, in terms of like, there are some things that I think can feel really permanent in our lives that it's like, you actually don't have to do like you have a choice. Um, so what are the agreements that I want to either renegotiate in my life or the agreements that I want to recommit to um, in sure. my life in different areas of, of business, relational, um, you know, all those things, even fitness, all those things. Um, so what are those agreements? And then, yeah. And then finding out ways to um, look at, I look, I like looking at the circadian rhythms. And, and all trading rhythms. So like, where are the, yeah. where are the actual like, like peak times in my life? And then this is the cool thing that I do with all my private clients, especially is like, well, what's actually like the number one objective that we're going for right now. So when you have the most energy that that doesn't necessarily mean you should be working on your business, if that's actually not your priority right now, like maybe your priority is actually relationships. So when you have the most energy, you should be actually putting that time into your relationship. Um, so I'm looking a lot, I'm looking less at linear time and more at, um, yeah. in time management. And I'm looking a lot more at like, what's actually going to be the most fulfilling and the most successful and, um, which also time management does that as well. But, yeah. um, but yeah, that's I just, we could just get rid of the word management. Cause that's still not, yeah, yeah it's just <laughs> like, not. It's really not it's time, I don't know if it's a word time awareness or I'm open. If you guys have another word for that, please put it in the comments. Yeah. Yeah, so, absolutely. Please, please, just rename that whole thing <laughs> yeah just the whole management of it thing yeah and and it's interesting i don't know if you're are you familiar with steve chandler's work love steve chandler yes okay so his book time warrior have you read that book mm -hmm. oh my goodness i actually haven't read that one Oh my gosh, Kate, I know, read right? time warrior it is so good so it's a it's a total um misnomer because you know of course, you know, Steve Chandler, he like takes what you think it's going to be and then like flips it on its sure. head. So right. it's supposedly a time management book, but it's about, he talks about it as non-linear time management, um, right. which meaning like uh, agreeing to work on a task and then committing to that task until it's at its completion. Um, and because, and that's how I work too with my clients is looking at um, on an unconscious level, um, closing all the loops so that we're not having all these open loops throughout our day and all of these like right. overwhelming sense of like, I didn't really get anything done. I got tons of things started and that's great, but I'm like overwhelmed by the energetic bandwidth of all the things that need to get completed. Yeah. So yeah, I love that. That's so huge. Yeah. That's so huge. I do, we measure, so we look at from a strengths language, from a strength strategy language. So there's, if you made a list of all those tasks that you actually do have to do. Yeah. So here's a very pragmatic way to do this. Love this. Um, this so is why we, you and I are a good team. <laughs> I know. I'm, just, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it. I'm gonna bring some pragmatic stuff to it. But Love it. there's so we make a list of all the things that you have to do that you're saying you have to do that you committed to. So these are your commitments. And then I want you to rate them on a scale of one to ten. How well you think you perform at those tasks. Mm. So just because we want to do stuff that's in our strength zone. So how well do I think I perform? And then on another column, what energy, how, like, what's my energy when I do these tasks? What's the energy level that that produces for me? Love and that. so say, if, um, like, what in your business do you not like to do? What in my business do I not like to do? Um, 
I mean, I love, I love relationships. So being on the phone for me, making connections, reach outs, that stuff is fun. Creating yeah. content's really fun. Um, having delivery of services is really fun. So I would say it's, it's more like the back end um, accounting, yeah. you know, like um, managing lists of people. Right. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Right. right. But sure. More so linear so things. For sure. For sure. <laughs> So we would look at, so say on a scale of one to 10, you would rate, how well do I perform at those? Well, I do a 10. Maybe I'm really great at that. But when I think of my energy on those tasks, it might, maybe it's a four or a three or some of those tasks, like tax time for a lot of us right. who are people, people are like, I'm like, oh my gosh, I might be a nine or an eight or a seven, but that is a two in my energy. Mm -hmm. So then I, when I put that and I chart it out on a, on a graph, it actually puts us in the strengths depletion zone. There's a development mm. zone, an A plus strength zone, and a depletion zone. So this, by doing this, so if I'm like, I'm going to get all of this stuff done that I really don't like to do, I'm going to do it, I'm going to procrastinate, and I'm going to do it all in one day. So then I don't have to think about doing the things that I don't enjoy doing most of the time, which is our strategy sometimes as entrepreneurs. We, you know, we're trying to bang it out. By doing that, you're keeping yourself in that depletion zone. You're actually sucking all your bandwidth and energy out. Your mm. performance is going to go down. And so it's what we want to do is create like a, a sandwich of like, this is a task that's depleting. Now I'm going to do something that's in my sweet spot. And then I'm going to come back and do some more. But really layering that in, and you're going to find yourself feeling completely different at the end of the day. And again, this is pretty pragmatic, but some people need that. Some people need a worksheet and just to walk it out. Um, instead of, you know, approaching it, depending on your strength set. So that's just right. another another way to look. I so Graphic. love that. I Sorry, so I love that. Kind of oh, no, you're good. You're totally good. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like that's such a, I love, I love the pragmatic tools and, and, and stuff like that. I think that's so wonderful. So what, um, I'm trying to think of what would be a really cool way to segue here. I guess I, I would love to hear, Kate, what is, um, yeah, what's your favorite tool in terms of, um, yeah, in terms of getting people on track, like when you first start working with them, like what's yeah. kind of like the first thing that you do, obviously they take their strengths finder test, sure. um, but then sure. what, do, what do you typically do with each person or is, is there, is it really individualized for each person right off the bat? Um, I, so I have a program called the grounding mm. and the grounding is like, it's leadership foundation. So it's, and I could, like every single person's a leader. So it, that doesn't mean necessarily that they know who they're leading now, but they're going to become aware of their leadership, you know, from, from becoming present with how they're showing up in their world. So it's a 10 week trajectory. It's one-on-one -on -one work. It's super, I mean, it's deep. And we're starting with identity. Like, who am I? What are my strengths? Um, then what's my story? And then it's going to move into, I'm really looking at the incompletions in my life. So that is those open loops. So it's, it's right. a, a series of just from, from ground zero, moving forward to get someone to that space where they're really aware and feeling so confident because they're judging their weakness less. Mm. They know who they are. They know what they're up to. They know what they're here to do. Mm -hmm. They have made friends with feedback because it's just data. And they're feeling so much more confident um, and like checking in with their performance. They're, they're checking their bank statement. You know, they're, they're seeing, you know, they're checking if they have an entrepreneur with an online website, they're checking the data to find out is what I'm doing working instead of slinging stuff out there and mm. hoping it sticks. And they, wow. they can really bring a greater awareness of what's happening in their world to that place so that they can go and go do the thing. The 11th session is a bonus, and I do that one for free. Mm. It's a gift, which is awesome because they get to bring somebody to it. So they can give somebody a strengths test, their spouse, their partner, their boyfriend, their girlfriend, their boss, and they can come on and do a beautiful, encouraging call together mm. and find out how to work better together and how to communicate oh, better. That's so, so that's cool. kind of, okay. we, we end in the space of like this, I've, I know who I am. I've stepped forth. I'm confident in my leadership. And now I'm actually going to play, pay it forward and play a bigger game. Oh, and I'm looking gosh, for people that. who know they have to take themselves on in order to do this next level for them. But they're like, they already know that like, I have to take myself on if I'm going to go any further. Otherwise I'm going to create a high school team again. And I'm going to be all in my head 
when I go to my next level and yeah. it's going to feel like high school. And so it's like, let's not do that anymore. <laughs> That's so good. That's so good. And then you have another, you have another couple tiers as well, correct? Yeah. So the next, after that, you go into the catapult, which is really, it's really stepping out and looking at leadership from a new level. So that's really, like if you have a message, it's getting that message out. Mm. But you're really looking at your communication, what you're creating, what your commitments are to the relationships in your world. So it's really more others centered, mm. like what's occurring. And so really upping the game, like learning how to have, um, like what to do in conflict, how to have a fierce conversation, mm. um, stepping out, taking a stand for no gossip on your team, taking mm. a stand um, to, to learn how to edify and not be in judgment anywhere else and really really being that kind of a leader. So you're liberating people by stepping out into your game in your own message. Um, that might be in networking. That might be in network marketing. It might, you know, but you, just your being and your way of communicating can liberate those around you. And then after that, we come together and we mastermind. So people who have come into those spaces and have done that work, they come together and we practice and we 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 live it out in such a big way. And then the game is just awesome. I mean, I can't believe what these people are doing. Yeah. I cannot believe what they're doing and what, what the impact that they're making and the love that's being brought forward. Mm. Um, it just, you know, I'm mind blown. I'm so grateful. I mean, like here I am, like it's, I'm just so grateful to get to do this mm. journey and this path yeah. because I'm, you know, from being in a, wheelchair in a hospital bed for so many years I have an urgency of like we only have today so like this this path and this program is, is built upon that of like we have today what am I going to do with today tomorrow you could be in a wheelchair like we just right. we don't know what tomorrow is going to hold so who am I going to be for the world who am I going to be for those around me am I going to live my life and lead what kind of story am I going to tell um what's the end of your story and I always feel like, you know, I read the end of the book and it works out. Yeah. And I have, I'm still learning that. <laughs> like I say that and I'm like, yeah, it does. But it is because we're always in that place of both. But if you believe that your business worked out and you could do your vision, you would lead differently. You mm -hmm. totally would lead differently. And um, I could ramble about this for a while, but I won't. <laughs> so good. Please keep rambling. <laughs> Is this something? Is this something that you do for like whole organizations as well, Kate? Like, if somebody was able to, like, so I'm just thinking for the entrepreneurs that are watching this that have teams, um, is this something where they're like, wait, I need to get this, and my whole team needs to get this immediately? Um, I'm seeing Sherry yeah, Knights on. I know there's 30, a lot of other people that will be yeah. watching. Yeah, about thirty to forty percent of my business is in a team setting. So okay. that could be in corporate. That could be. Um, you know, anywhere, anywhere where people are working with people. So we, we create a great strengths grid and we work on, on, on teaching some of these components and actually how to understand those that they're actually working with. So it's very relevant to what's going on in their business at this time. It's not so high minded. It's very practical. Um, but, you know, I bring that that level of that everybody is capable and, and responsible. Mm. So like everybody, we can all do more than we have been doing. We can. Like it's, we think we're doing the max that we can. And that is never true. Right. Not that we have to push and strive to do better. We just have to use our resource differently to increase our impact. It doesn't mean you're going to kill yourself. Uh, to do it. Yeah. That's so <laughs> good. Move your energy. That's so good. So how do you typically do that? I mean, do you, is that looking at someone's specific strengths and then kind of helping them align that to, yeah, to how they're using those strengths or not using those strengths with their energy? Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. Most of it is clearing out, just like meditation. Most of it is, is really understanding what your assessments and assumptions are about the world around you. And also the way that you might be critical to yourself. When you free up that bandwidth upstairs, you're going to see things differently. You're going to connect differently. You're going to close sales in like an amazing way. So mm -hmm. it's, it's, but you have to first identify what those are coming from. Um, in a very, like, one of the exercises I do is I make people find a picture on the internet <laughs> for every voice on their team. So that, that might be, like, their top ten strengths. So, like, Oprah is my significant strength, which is my number nine. Um, you know, number six is a ranger. Right now I'm like, that's got to be Santa Claus. So you just kind of find each of those pictures that represent 
who those are. And it could be anyone, it doesn't have to be a celebrity. Mm -hmm. but start identifying those as like, you could call them guides, whatever fits in your language and your spiritual paradigm, but get to know those. Because each of those parts of you, you can set different intentions and really create amazing connection and results. But you have to, you know, you got to go in there and do the work. You got to, you got to go get to know them and get curious. And hey, if they're stuck or they're not participating, or some of them are talking too loud, there's, you can turn the volume down on those. Mm. There's more than one way for you to lead your business. It's not like here's my five. I use those all the time. You got to tweak them, turn the volumes down. Um, turn some up, try one you haven't used before, and you're going to notice your creativity. The way you innovate is going to be different. The way you listen is going to be different. And for me, it's all about connection. Because when you connect, things happen for you. So and good. everyone's longing for more of that. Oh, Kate, I have no words. I'm just like so freaking giddy <laughs> about what it is you do. And I'm going to go on right now and take my Strengths Finder again. I'm getting all 15 now. And, um, yeah, and I just, so you, I hope everybody. $89, unlock all 34. If you took the five, don't retake the test. Get an access code for beyond your top five at $69. Okay. And it will use the same as before. If you haven't gone through a huge life change, you don't need to retake it. Okay, awesome. That's great info. So anybody who's interested, please, like, immediately go message Kate, friend her, message her. Any other ways we can get a hold of you or any other things that you're excited about, like, sharing with peeps? Yeah, I mean, go to kpintor.com. Go ahead and you can subscribe on there if you want to hear from me. Um, but send me your friend request and send me your strengths in private message and I'll send you a, a little note. That's awesome. I'll tell you how awesome you are. Awesome. I love this. Cool. Any other like final words of encouragement or wisdom for folks watching right now, Kate? You are so enough. Whatever mm. it is that you want to do, you got to figure out what you want to do. One of my coaches told me that this week, it's time to figure out more. And <laughs> so we always have to be in touch with what that more, what do you want? So stay in touch with that, but you are so enough to do it. You have to stop comparing yourself to the other leaders and entrepreneurs that are out there and do you and come into that. That is the right way to do it. And it, it is uncomfortable and it is frightening at times. And sometimes you're going to think you don't deserve it or you're not capable and that's normal to feel that way, but you are built for this journey. You're built for it. And that's like, you are so enough. That's it. That's so awesome. Cool. Kate, thank you so much for being on. This has been such a pleasure. Thanks I'm sure there's me part two, part three, part 57. Probably yeah, we're going to talk about everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much, Kate. Really appreciate it. And uh, have a fantastic day. Have a fantastic day, everyone. Take care. <laughs> okay. Bye -bye. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.